Hi friends, this video is on motion part 3 of 14. This video is brought to you by coachingkiers.in Designing Future by Smart Education. Under this chapter, topics to be covered motion, scalar and vector quantity. So we will study the scalar and vector quantity. All the physical quantities are classified in two categories. One is scalar quantity and another one is vector quantity. Scalar quantity is the quantity with magnitude alone and no direction. And vector quantity is the quantity with both magnitude and direction. Examples of scalar quantity is like path length speed where no direction is mentioned only there is magnitude is mentioned and example of vector quantities are like displace, displacement velocity acceleration etc so you just uh, noticed if you noticed the scalar quantity is having only magnitude so magnitude alone magnitude is what magnitude is nothing but it's a numerical value of that quantity or numerical value that defines the measure of a quantity is called a magnitude say uh, a boy i just explained it by this example this is a boy this boy moves from point a and it it moves to point b and suppose I say this distance is 10 meter. So the path length is 10 meter. So here is the scalar quantity path length is equal to 10 meters. So in 10 meters this 10 is the numerical value that defines this length. I mean this 10 is the numerical value that defines the measure of this quantity. So this is the magnitude. We will say this is a magnitude. So I hope uh, you guys uh, got a clear cut idea and you, you are able to understand now all the physical quantities are categorized in two types, scalar quantity and vector quantity. There is a difference of scalar and vector of measurely of direction. Direction is, is all will be there in the vector quantity now you just you can have i mean a few examples you can uh, have the in, under these categories in vector and scalar uh, like lift displacement weight drag force momentum acceleration velocity these are vectors quantity and the scalar quantities are like time distance no direction in that mass area density temperature work speed energy and power and all so this is the idea now we'll have a little bit more details about these two quantities so scalar quantity like i i i, I told you i mean the examples you can have like length magnitude is there only no direction in scalar quantity <clears throat> like temperature area under this category you can see and under vector quantity magnitude will come along the direction so uh, i just give you one example small example suppose uh, one person is moving from here there's one person who who, who is uh, uh, who is moving from one direction from one point I say A and suppose it moves like this like this it moves and it reaches the final position B okay so you will notice this distance is covered or length of the whole path is covered along this trajectory it doesn't matter in which direction it is moving it is moving along the path where this way is going it is moving along that 
and it is re reaching final destination B. So now there is no direction, only distance is there, path length is there. But if suppose I say this person directly it is going to B, this is the shortest distance. And you know, there is some distance. In the previous one, suppose there is a distance of 15 meter. Now, directly if it is reaching, this is 10 meter. But just see the difference. In 15 meters, there is no direction is phased wide in this. But in this quantity, 10 meters, you will see magnitude is defined, which is 10, plus direction is also defined. Direction is from here to this. Suppose, I, I just assume this is a straight line. So there will be some angle. 20 degree so this direction is also defined with the magnitude 10 I mean direction is 10 degree from x axis x axis so this is the difference uh, basically uh, in 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 path length and uh, displacement so so guys uh, in the motion uh, these two quantities plays very important role. Uh, motion we can define, uh, I mean, uh, by both uh, this uh, scalar and vector quantities. We'll study in details in the further upcoming slides, upcoming lessons, lesson slides. The motion, the scalar and vector quantities plays very important role to define or to describe a motion like speed and like velocity velocity is again you know under motion it is a vector quantity because direction is also defined with the speed but speed if we talk about the speed that is uh, without direction which is a scalar quantity so uh, you know the motion under motion these kind of uh, parameters we have to take here and we have to understand it in depth in the same way displacement in the same way um, uh, distances or path length so under motion these parameters are very important and we have to take care of that and i hope you are able to understand now clearly uh, about this kind of quantity so we'll study further the motion where it will play a very important role so i hope you got the clear idea so thank you very much please visit coachingcares.in where you can watch free educational videos and free study material and you can get it all from qualified and best quality mentors and tutors Thank you very much.